Well, g'day. Uh, trying to make another video. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, so, I'm at a spot on the Great Ocean Road called Rack Beach. Down on the um, reef down there, there's a an anchor and a, some leftover parts from a, a ship that's um, got racked on the reef well, many, many years ago. Um, if I can find some information, I'll put it on the screen for you. So it's a bit of a walk down. It's about 300 metres and there's about 300 steps. So we'll get it moving. And not sure what I'm going to do with this video, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a fairly nice sunset tonight. There's a little bit of high cloud around, so it should be perfect. We'll see you soon. Well, I made it down onto the beach. Um, it's our first sort of hot day of summer. It's about 28 degrees. I'm definitely feeling it a little bit. Uh, so this is the beach. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. There's almost nobody here. Uh, I think there's one other person here. There's another car in the car park, but I'm not sure where they are. Um, but yeah, so it should be a should be a nice little shoot. Some really interesting things around on the beach here with the rock um, patterns from the rocks on the ground from the uh, reef and that and that sort of thing. Um, we'll get up and we'll find this anchor and the other part of the the ship that's in the reef up here. It should be nice because there's a bit of. Um, green sort of mossy seaweedy stuff still on the reef it hasn't been too hot yet this summer so we'll um we'll get some nice color contrast in this photo and yeah i'll keep walking on the beach it's probably about another 10 minute walk so i won't bore you with that and i'll talk soon Well, uh, this is a real shame. The, uh, the beach is taking back some of the reef. And, I don't know, where are we? Somewhere here. You can see the, um, the anchor in the background there is now lodged in the sand and it's not all that photogenic. It is still pretty cool, but it's not what it used to be. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do for sunset now. I might just try the old seascape or something like that. It's a lot of footprints around the anchor, so I don't even know if I'll be able to take a photo of it in the sand. Um, if I do, it's going to involve quite a bit of Photoshop. I'll just swing it around and show you this. So as you can see, 
the anchor itself is pretty cool. Um, there's another bit there. Underneath the sand here, there's also um, like some workings from, I don't know, like some cogs and that sort of thing, but got no hope of seeing it at the moment. Um, so yeah, I guess it's just a matter of coming back again, possibly after next winter when the tides are a bit higher and and that sort of thing and hoping that the sand's been washed back up the beach instead of all over the reef here um, so that I'll see if I can find an old photo that I've got from here um, I know I've got some with the anchor in the reef just to show you what it used to look like and what I was hoping for um, so yeah well uh, I'll take some photos tonight anyway of the anchor I'll do a Few little seascapey type things just to I might as well have made it all the way out here but yeah um, not every every photo shoot goes the way you want it to um, doesn't always work out usually because of the weather but nature also has a big thing to play in it so I'm gonna have a look around down on the reef here and see what else I can find I'm sure there'll be something it's beautiful spot and there's there's lots lots to see I'll try and find something with some water movement coming in um, and yeah we'll see how we go okay so I've decided I'm gonna try and do something I really shouldn't be doing I don't even know if I'm gonna edit this photo um, it's gonna be a lot of work to clean out the sand and make it look pristine there's just too many footprints around but I'm gonna give it a go anyway so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to try a panoramic of the shot. That'll give me a lot more sand to work with as well to be able to try and clone out all the footprints that are around the um, anchor itself. So I'll just show you the back of the camera. So, don't know if you'll be able to see. Uh, let me turn off that manual focus for a minute. So I'll try and stand in front of it so you can don't get too much of a reflection. So this is pretty much what my composition is going to look like. Um, there's plenty of high cloud area. It's a little bit of interest in the foreground, which should help. But something like this, it's, the anchor's fairly hidden in the sand, but it's still there. So it's it's still pretty cool. Like so, it's still pretty cool, but it's um. I guess it's a bit of history like they call it the shipwreck coast for a reason and there's a lot of shipwrecks around here but there's not much left of any of them so to be able to have something left to be able to photograph and to visit it's kind of special um we've all got there's the Lockhart Gorge everyone well, nearly everybody knows the story about Tom and Eve and the Lockhart Gorge and the Lockhart ship that sunk out there and the two survivors um I'm gonna have to do some research on this one I think this one was a Portuguese ship I'll have to do a bit of research. There is another anchor concreted in the ground up further. Um, but it's just, it's an anchor there to symbolise another shipwreck. It's not as natural as this one. Um, so I'm not going to bother going up to shoot that. It's just an upside down anchor and some concrete on the beach. So I'll, um, I'll shoot this. Uh, I'll try and get it as uh, not, the light's really nice on the uh, cliffs behind it and the, and the sand. So at the moment, the sun's not far from going down. Um, have a look. No, it's, it's probably about another 30, 40 minutes maybe before the sun goes down. Um, I've been wandering around. I've got some little texture shots off the beach and, and that sort of thing. So I've made the most of what I've had down here to play with and it's just been nice. I've had the whole place to myself. I don't know where the people from this other car is. It's in the car park, but um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Actually, these clouds that I'm looking at right now are insane. I'll see if I can show them to you. So, yeah, look at these clouds. That's pretty cool. That might be a shot just in itself. Um, yeah. I'll try and make something work there. 
Got a bit of a reef out here, a little bit of water coming in. Not a lot, but these clouds up here, they might just make the shot. Definitely something interesting in the sky anyway. Um, it'd be really cool if they were over in the other shot with the anchor. Might take away from the anchor a bit, but yeah. Anyway, I'll um, keep on here and see how I go, and let's hope I get something good. So the sun's just about to go down. Got another little composition here. Um, again, it's going to be a lot of work to remove all these footprints. Uh, I don't know. I'd still like to come back and actually shoot this in the sand without any footprints with some nice little ripples in the sand. It'd be really, really nice. Um, but. I don't know when that's going to happen. I'm going to have to have a look and see where the next high tide is and probably work out how to get here at high tide. Um, and as the tide's going out, I might be able to get something. That is if the tide comes up this high this time of the year. It's, it's not likely. Um, so I might have to do a bit more research and come back a different time of the year and try and capture this yeah but it's gonna be a, a really really nice sunset clouds are gonna be on fire I think they are anyway um, so I'll try and get some photos it's, um, it's not much swell around either so there's not much work to be done with to moving water or anything like that so I'll see what I can come up with there's lots of seaweed around so who knows We'll see what we can do. Um, if I get any good photos, I'll put them on the screen. And yeah, um, yeah. So I suppose that's it. I'm not going to bother filming myself crawling up the 300 stairs. Um, wouldn't be good for anybody. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> You'd feel sorry for me. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.